You can create a document, slide presentation, or a spreadsheet using Google Drive and then embed that document anywhere you can use the Rich Content Editor in Canvas. Several features in Canvas support the Rich Content Editor, including announcements, assignments, pages, syllabus, and quizzes. In order to access and embed a Google assignment, you are going to either use the Google Drive LTI 1.3 icon, or you can go through the apps and use it here. Either one gets you the same result. When you first click on it, it asks you to authenticate that this is the right account, and you select your file. A pop-up window comes up, and you're going to choose your file from here. You notice it changes the sharing settings, and you attach. Now you can see that this Google Slide presentation is embedded directly into my Rich Content Editor. When embedded, Google Slide presentations default to presentation mode. When you embed files, anytime you edit the Google file, that edits the same file in Canvas as well. Students can edit an embedded item right on the Canvas page if the share settings on the document slider sheet are set to allow editor access. You can now also add files from shared drives, but there has been a known issue, so just be aware that as you begin to add things from a shared drive, if your students cannot see it, you are going to have to change the sharing settings. So I'm going to go to my shared drive. I'm going to open that shared drive. And I am going to come in here and try to embed something from there. Add it. Attach. So you notice it says it will change the sharing settings. However, if it does not, you may have to come in here, go to Manage Members, use your gear setting, and make sure these three boxes are checked. Google Forms must be embedded differently. Google Forms need to be added by the embed code. In order to do this, we're going to go to our form. We're going to click on the send. We're going to use the HTML editor. Click copy. Go back to our assignment. Use the HTML editor in Canvas and decide where we want it. This is done in code. I happen to want it at the end, so I'm going to go down and put my cursor to the end, and I'm going to paste. I'm going to exit the editor, and now you'll see that my form is embedded directly into my assignment. This is the way students will be able to access that form without being in the same one and not being able to edit. The last step, of course, is always to go down to the bottom and save your work.